who has the fourth fastest car in Formula One? Haas are looking very much like the fourth fastest team in Formula One. Uh, but catastrophe. They're now very much in the mix. McLaren are in the mix. You've got the fantastic results coming uh, from the American team. So from a driver who could do with a little bit, uh, I think of a confidence boost this weekend in Azerbaijan. Coming back here to Barcelona. Now Monaco, of course, is a circuit where you can make little to no mistakes at all through saint -Devot. Up Beau Rivage into Mahasane, into Casino Square. Expectations low at Williams, but expectations have been high at Formula One's American team all the way through the season. However, Monaco was ghastly. Good to hear from the French drivers. Normally there's a pun about those guys. It's a bit of a hassle this week. It's always nice coming to the Austrian Grand Prix. Lovely food. The weather can be sketchy from time to time, but it's always nice uh, to go back at the end of the evening uh, to your lovely Gasthaus in the countryside. Being back in Britain, uh, they say that an Englishman's home is his castle. Not easy times for Roman Grosjean at the moment, especially when your teammate is putting on such a racing masterclass. Great to be back at the Hungara Ring, always such a fantastic place to come for the last race before the summer break. Yeah! Will he move up to Haas? One thing's for sure, uh, wherever he ends up, he will have a Ferrari engine in the back of his chassis. It's Roman Grosjean, somebody who in his uh, later years as a racing driver uh, really is, I think, more and more becoming that elder statesman and exuding class. Always been a massive Oasis fan, so to see Liam, hopefully I'll be able to see at least one song, uh, which would be good, uh, on the back of uh, the, the huge success of his album this year, As You Were. Interesting stuff then from Grosjean about the possibility for teams such as Haas to maybe not run at all uh, in Q2, which if it was to come to pass uh, because of the nature of the track would seem somewhat farcical. Now, of course, it was confirmed in Russia that these guys had pinned their colors to the mahas and decided that the grass was not greener on the other side and they would be sticking with their current driver lineup. Let's talk to Roman Grosjean, a guy who's had a, an up and down year, but shall we say a guy who's very much glass half full? Or not? Always love coming back to Mexico City to this race. Uh, it's a fantastic track, fantastic place. Uh, love this country, love visiting here. Uh, so much so because of its history, its rich history and culture spent this week. Uh, made a little vlog about it, actually. Uh, went to Templo Mayor, the seat of power for the Aztec civilization. So, arriving here in Brazil, let's talk to Kevin Magnussen. That's a weak one. So that's your lot from Paddock Pajas here at Yes, Marina. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>